Hey everybody, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to do like an update on what I'm reading and what I'm doing and stuff. I moved the dresser and got one of the small bookcases up and put a bunch of books in there that are not in any particular order. They were just books that were in here in bags that I had to put somewhere. Um, Today is my daughter's graduation, and uh, so that's kind of a big deal. Yesterday was um, the last day of school, and um, so, you know, being a father, it's all about me, and it was kind of emotional, and today might be the same, so... Um, I want to get as much videos done, as many videos done as I can, because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling, um, later. So, there's that. Um, but I wanted to talk about what I've been reading and stuff, too. So, you know, I've been doing all the Ligotti stuff, but I started The Devil's Larder and by Jim Crace, or Crazy author of Being Dead. Oh, maybe I should check that out. This is a really fun book. The stories in here are really short, and um, it's just kind of weird. So um, it's right up my alley, and look at that picture. Look at all that yummy fruit. But then you turn the book around, and the picture's upside down, and it's a man, baby, a man. Um... But this book is beautiful, like just how it's laid out. Um, the end pages are gorgeous. Um, it's just, it's a nice, I hate hardcover books, but if every hardcover book was this size, um, I might sing a different tune. It reminds me of this, it was even smaller than this, but I had a Edgar Allan Poe um, poetry collection, the first one I ever had. Um, I don't think I have it anymore, but um, it was a little hardcover like this, and I loved that fucking book. Um, so that book's really cool. I'm digging it a lot. Um, I was reading this, um, Charles Bukowski on Love, but almost everything I found in here I've read other places, so it's kind of just like... Um, I don't know what I would, I, it's like, am I going to find something new? Um, but it's okay. Um, it's funny because um, these aren't like your typical love poems and stuff like that. But um, I have been dipping in and out of that. Uh, oh, and I was dipping out of this again. Um, Al Purdy's Poems for All the Annettes. Um, <clears throat> I like it better now, um, going through it again. Just, like, because I marked some poems in there that I liked before, and I like them more now. Maybe I'll, um, read some of those sometime. Um... And, oh, um, I was reading, um, The Myth of Sisyphus by, uh, Albert Camus, and, um, that is enlightening as fuck, like, um, I read The Plague by him. Is that what it's called? The Plague? I think it's called The Plague. Um, but I went into it kind of thinking it was going to be something different than what it was. And um, didn't really enjoy it. But then when I read The Stranger, I was like, this guy's a fucking genius. Like, why am I not like reading him all the time? So, um, I started that, and, um, I'm really digging it. So, um, 
I really want to get, I want to collect all of the, uh, those black and white covers. I don't know what company puts them out. Um, because like the copy I have of the stranger, which isn't in here either, um, is, uh, an old copy. If you saw like a book haul, <laughs> like from like three years ago, you would have seen it, but, um, it's one of those weird, like, I don't know, like late sixties covers. That's like got a bunch of weird people on it, dressed weird. It's like, Hey, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's kind of been what I've been reading. Um, and I'm really digging it. Um, I said in my um, last Legati video that um, I'm going to be letting you guys know what the um, upcoming buddy reads are. And um, I'm going to do that um, as soon as I unpack uh, my books because uh, Saturday we are going to empty out the storage unit and um, after that's all empty, that means we're going to have the bookcases in here, um, in the living room and in this room. So once the bookcases are up, we're going to be unpacking many, many boxes of books and, um, all the books will be where the books should be and I'll be able to grab and show stuff. So we'll wait for that. Um... And I guess that's really it. I just, um, I kind of miss you guys. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, two more things, actually. Um, next month, um, there's going to be a big weird mask announcement. Um, and it'll be about, um, the elusive issue 25 and what it's going to be and how it's going to be this big mega issue. And, um, hopefully that will, um, be out by the end of the month. I'm hoping, um, of next month. So there's a bunch of stuff in there, um, that we're going to be needing to talk about and go over. And with that being said, um, for those of you who were digging my Lovecraft and my Conan videos, um, the Cthulhu Mythos videos and the Conan chronologies, um, those will be starting again, um, yeah, um, in July. So uh, the first, what is it, Wednesday of July, those will be starting up again. Um so that'll be cool. Um, I fucking love me some Conan. So I'm um, getting back into that would be great. Um, and then I don't know, like I've been thinking about different things to do. Uh, one of the things I really would like to do would be to go over Batman, um, kind of from the beginning. I have these great big Batman collections um, there's one of them there. Yeah. Um, so I would like to, um, kind of go over those and, um, I've been noticing a lot more people, uh, posting about Edgar Rice Burroughs. So I would love to do like a library tour and, um, start doing that again. Cause on weird mask on the weekends, I was serializing um, A Princess of Mars. Did I finish it? I don't know if I finished it on there. Um, so I'll finish that. And then I have to decide if I want to um, continue going through the Barsoom Mars books on Weird Mask. Or if I want to um, do... Uh, like different, cause like the Pellucidor books, I think are my favorite. Um, I've said that before. Um, the John Carter books are amazing, but, um, I fell in love with Burroughs on the Pellucidor books. So might do something like that. 
Um, but I really want to focus on... Wait, where'd you guys go? Lost you there. What's happening? Where? Okay, we're back. And we're still recording, so that's good. Um, I really want to focus on what I enjoy. Um, I know a lot of people have um, a bit of anxiety when it comes to BookTube and trying to follow um, the trends or keeping up on top of stuff, especially when, um, like when that numbers video came out and, um, there were just people talking about that. And I remember one of the big problems, um, people were having were like trying to keep up with booktube and trying to keep up with, um, everyone's reading, like, people who see what other people are reading and um, get a little bummed out that they're not um, reading as much as other people or reading the right books or um, all this other shit. And I know I've been doing a lot of poetry on here um, and that's a passion of mine, you know, like... I really, really love it. So I'm going to be doing more of it, <clears throat> but I want to make sure I'm like still doing stuff that I like to do um, and not getting so wrapped up in one thing that um, I alienate my viewers, but also um, alienating myself from things that I like. And... <clears throat> The whole rest of this year is me just reading what I want to read. Um, and I'm not going to be, like, all bummed out and pissed off, you know, trying to read stuff that um, doesn't speak to me. I'm DNFing books more. Um, I'm feeling more comfortable doing that. Uh, that was a big hurdle to jump because when you just read a bunch of books that you don't like you just end up not liking reading um so there's that and then um as far as the uh poetic anarchy course um i'm putting a ton of stuff together for that and it's going to be seriously so much fun even if you, when you hear me talk about poetry, you're like, this guy needs to be shot. He's a fucking idiot. I really, really think that you'll get something out of that course and it'll be a lot of fun and, um, just eye opening. Um, I'm actually shocked at the stuff that I've been coming up with for it. Like if workshops and courses and stuff were as fun as what I'm putting together. Like I would have been taking these a long time ago. Like, um, I don't know. It's just like, I think it's going to be really eye opening. And the people who are already signed up, um, on Monday, I'm going to be sending you guys an email that, um, kind of goes over, a few things and we'll have a link to the discord server. Um, since I've been talking to a lot of you guys individually and you guys are already like working on shit and doing stuff. I don't want to hamper you with going, okay, well, you know, don't do too much because you got to wait till the 22nd. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open the discord chat now. So, um, we can all be on the same page and um, just be there for each other and build each other up and the whole thing. And there's three spots left. So um, if you want in on this, um, please jump in. And if you um, are worried about the cost or anything like that, talk to me about it. I'm as open as fuck. Um, one of the reasons why um, 
I'm charging for it. Honestly, one thing I'm trying to learn is how valuable my time is. So that is one reason why I am charging for it. But the other reason is, is that we're putting a collection together um, of everyone's writing who's a part of the class. So, um, and that'll be the Poetic Anarchy Volume 1, whatever. Um, and uh, I just really, really want it to go off without a hitch. And I think it's going to be great. The people who signed up, it's been really cool because there are a lot of them, a lot of you guys are people who I know, I follow, I watch your videos. So I already feel like um, we're kind of all buddies already, you know, because I know so many of you who have signed up. So it's like, it's just going to be a good, feel good thing. So I'm, I just like, I'm fucking going, I thought it was next week. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, okay, so this Tuesday's coming up. But it's the following Tuesday. So, um, and I had to be told that by um, my wife. So, um, she kind of broke my heart there for a second. But anyway, <clears throat> that's it. So, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know down below um, what you've been reading if you've like ran into anything super cool. Um, Especially if you think I'll like it. That's even fucking cooler. Um, and as soon as I get those goddamn books. You know when you order books on Amazon and like you think they're going to show up and they never fucking do. But then there's other times you order stuff on Amazon that you completely forgot that you ordered. And then the next day a package arrives and you're like, what the fuck is this? And you open it up and you're like, oh shit, I forgot I fucking ordered this stuff. This is amazing. Yeah. I've been fucking going to the post office every day, opening my P.O. box, going, where the fuck are my books? And it's, like, really been pissing me off. So, um, anyway, that's that. Um, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. You're all special.